Hello there. This is a little preview of the C Sharp Intermediate tutorial project that is going to be added to the Stride game engine. So as you can see here, I have launched the Stride Game Studio from its launcher. And if we would go to the tutorials section, you will be able to see the C Sharp Intermediate project, which you then can instantiate. And what does this project give you? Here you can see the intermediate project opened up. And if we go here to our scenes, you can see that at this moment, we have 11 different tutorials that we will cover uh, both by text as well as a video tutorial. Uh, right now 11 that might be more in the future. But first, I want to get these 11 tutorials out the door. And I want to get this project added to the stride source. Different from the C Sharp beginners project is that every single scene, for instance, we're going to start with UI basics. It has a completed scene where all the scripts are already made and attached, as well as a start uh, scene, which only well loads out the really basics of a scene uh, without any scripts attached yet that we're going to make from scratch. And how is that going to look when we start our game? Well, something similar like this. To the left, we find a starting scene scenarios where all the somewhat empty scenes are just ready for the player or for the player for the user to start. For instance, if I would have this animation basics scene, then you'll see that we have this uh, character model loaded, but nothing is really happening, no instructions on the screen. Uh, but if we would switch to animation basics, then you can see that we've done some extra stuff right now, like we've displayed some commands right up to the screen. So even if a person is following along with the tutorial, and this person has started with his own scene and started to write his own scripts and applied them to the entities in our scene. But for some reason, things are not working out, or this person just wants to check how the end result should somewhat look like, then you can always look up this completed scene, which we can see here on the right. So any tutorial can be loaded from uh, the menu right here in the center of the screen. Uh, let's go over the tutorials real quick. We'll go, we'll start with UI interaction, we'll learn about setting up the UI through the editor using UI pages. And we'll learn how to hook up events, uh, text events, click events, and then we'll even learn how to do everything from scratch entirely by code. So creating code uh, pages, creating buttons, creating text events. Then we go to collision triggers, really cool, interesting stuff. If you want to work with triggers and the collisions and how you set them up in the editor, followed by ray casting, very useful, for instance, for weapons. Then we'll learn the difference between projecting and unprojecting and we'll learn some useful methods here and there. And we go to async scripts, because until this point, we've been using sync scripts and startup scripts. And now we will learn about the usage of async scripts. And we learn two variants there, uh, we'll do a variety of the collision trigger only in an async style. And we'll also learn how to talk to a web API and retrieve data without having our scene being uh, being frozen whilst we're collecting that data. Scene loading, also really interesting stuff, loading child scenes, reloading a scene, um, loading another scene, so switching to another scene, and how does that work with unloading stuff from memory, etc. We'll dive into the animation basics. Um, this took a little bit longer than anticipated. Uh, so this is more how the editor deals with assets that have animations, how you can set up various properties inside the editor, and then through code, how you play them, stop them, uh, crossfade them. But these are the really basic animation controls, uh, animation blend trees and proper blending between various states. That's something that I that I have to dive in a little bit deeper. Audio. Really interesting stuff there too. It's not that complicated, but still you need to know just the basics. First person and third person, really cool stuff, even if I do say so myself. 
Uh, it's not that these are 100% usable directly in your game and that you never have to touch the code again, but they certainly give you a really nice basis for dealing with first-person and third-person camera scenarios. And finally, we learn about navigation and navigation meshes and sending a player to a place on the map by just clicking on the map and then a route or a route is automatically calculated and how you can do that with a character controller. So that's basically pretty much it for this uh, introduction uh, video or just a quick recap. I'm uh, finishing up the final details, adding some extra comments to the code and trying to figure out how the uh, templating stuff from the launcher works. There's some quirks here left to figure out. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's coming towards stride real soon. Thanks for watching.